is up YouTube? My name is Jay Fan, and today we are going to try to make pho. So a little bit about me. My ama came from Vietnam back in 73 after the war. She was a boss lady who never cooked in her life and she found herself in the US of A and through lots of hardship and work experience her sweat and tears poured into a bowl of uh, making the masterful ingredients to make the most powerful heart wrenching I'm just kidding we're gonna make fun today so I'm gonna show you the steps that I did and you can tell me what you think about the food afterwards let's do it Okay, so here are all of my ingredients straight out of 99 Ranch. I have them splayed out on the table for you, for your fancy. What you see here are beef neck bones, oxtail bones, and round eye steak. We are going to use this to make our juicy masterpiece. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do when you are making pho is wash the bowl. Please wash the bowl. Always wash the bowl to make sure that nothing's in it and the people who are eating your food will be forever grateful for you for your sanity cleanliness. After the bowl has been washed, we're gonna unpackage all of the meat and soak it inside the pan. A lot of the meat packaged in these packages are really dirty and if you don't wash them thoroughly, I'm telling you, it's kind of nasty. Look closely, you can see the grit falling out of the meat and into the water. So I'm boiling the meat right now for about 5 to 10 minutes, allowing all of the impurities to come out of the meat. This is a really important step, especially when it comes to wanting to have a clear broth. You don't have to worry about the flavor of the meat leaving the broth uh, because the true essence of the bones don't come out until after several hours. For about a 5 to 10 minute boil, I'm going to dump the pot into a strainer and collect the meat. So another really important step is after collecting the meat, you want to scrub out the pot to make sure that none of the impurities stay attached to the metal. And then I like to re-rinse the meat to just get off any of the last minute impurities. Okay, so the next part matters. The water I'm adding now is going to be used for the broth. So make sure it's drinking water. I prefer it over tap water. I actually feel like there's a difference. We're gonna add the meat back into this water and then we'll set it to a boil. Meanwhile, we're gonna chop some onions to put in the pho for increased flavor. The pot I have is really big, so it's gonna take a while to boil. I'm feeding like 12 to 14 people. Also to mention, these portion sizes are gonna be dictated by the amount of people you feed. Um, the video I'm showing you is just a recommendation of the kinds of material that I use to make the pho, not the specific amounts. Next, we are going to add the salt into the pho to increase its saltiness. Duh. We will also add crystal sugar to contrast the saltiness with a bit of sweetness. While the pho continues to work to a boil, we are going to create the aroma. We do this by lighting an iron skillet and adding star anise, cinnamon sticks, coriander seeds, and garlic. We're also going to char grill a couple extra onion halves to put into the pho broth. Don't forget the ginger. Make sure you peel off the burnt parts of the char grilled onion. Okay, so once the pho broth gets to a boil, let it sit for about five to 10 minutes and then lower it down to a simmer. And then you're going to let the pho simmer overnight with the lid open. Many hours later. So it's about 3 a.m. right here. And I came to check in on the pho and I noticed that there was some scut on the top of the pho. And it's my job to take the scud out. As I'm drinking this, I'm realizing that I forgot to add some fish sauce, so I'm about to do that. Woo! 
Fish sauce doesn't smell great, but it has some kind of umami or savory flavor. I'm not sure which, but it, it's really amazing in small quantities. It's getting close to dinner time. Time to pop out those noodles and get them hydrated slightly before we serve them. I'm soaking them in bowls of water and allowing them to sit there for about five to 10 minutes before I pull them out. And then they're ready to be used. Three hours later. Okay, the fuss should be ready now. We're just gonna wait on my friends to come over and then we'll start serving. What's up, bro? How are you? Good, good to see you. Mr. Marines. Okay, so the broth has been reduced and we have workers to put to work. Many, many, many people. Let's do this. Almost ready to hold the ball. Almost ready. When it comes to heating up the round eye steak, I like to keep it a little raw when I put it in the pho so the broth can cook it. It's time to eat! the best dog I ever had. What's that, Pitbull? Oh, oh my god. It's so good. I think we kind of got the broth a little better. It feels pretty good. We're missing jalapenos, but otherwise it's, it's pretty good. Alright guys, so thanks for watching our pho video. We enjoyed it. We were eating all together as a family. And we're going to give you a... a yes. Yes, cheese. Long live Vietnam. Long live Vietnam!